guys, it's Derek again with Big D's Coral Farmers. Today I'm going to be showing you how to grow mangroves uh, at home. Uh, which all, all you need is some potting soil, uh, some sort of bin that will hold water, and uh, some small potters. Um, I can always transfer these over to bigger pots once they get bigger. Uh, right now I just have these small, uh, smaller pot, flower pot potters. Here we're going to be planting the mangrove and the bin. Okay. So I'm going to be planting these mangroves here. And I'm going to show you guys uh, how to do that. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your tool and you're going to want to make a hole in the dirt where you're going to be planting the mangrove. And put the mangrove down in the dirt soil like that. Probably turn this guy this, this way here. And cover them up with dirt. You need to add extra dirt. Go ahead and fill it up. Get your mangrove in there, and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, there you go. I've planted the uh, two mangrove into the planter. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your planter and you're gonna set it into whatever you're using for a bin. I'm just using this bin for now. Uh, I'm hoping I'll have enough to put both planters with mangroves in it. And what you're gonna do, you wanna fill this to where your water line is about halfway. About halfway, about that deep with your salt water. Now I'm gonna use um, the salinity close to uh, natural conditions. Uh, you know, somewhere around about uh, 25 parts per million. Uh, that way, you know, when I do put these mangroves eventually into the saltwater pond application that I plan on doing uh, in the fall, they'll be pretty much uh, used to that salinity level. So you want to keep in mind that you, you know if you're going to be doing something like that, you want to keep them, you know, pretty close to the same salinity of where you're going to uh, they're going to wind up uh, wind up being once they're mature. So. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and just pour some water in that I have. Okay. Now I say it's good to uh, pack in the top with some sand and things like that. Uh, I will be getting some sand um, to pack in the top. I actually, I don't have sand. I'm actually going to wind up uh, using some tank gravel that I have left over from uh, some tanks that I used to have. So, uh, Okay guys, as you can see, I went ahead and got the gravel in there. Um, you know, it's 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 a finer, smaller gravel, so I mean, it's going to keep the moisture tracked in there as best as it can. Um, I've heard some people say use sand. Uh, this is just some stuff I have laying around. And uh, I'll be doing an update video on, on how these uh, mangroves are growing. And, uh, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to got it in here, got the water in the about halfway up and uh, make sure they're getting you know uh, majority of the sunlight you know half on half off not straight direct in the middle of the you know sun all day they'll get partial shade throughout the day um, but uh, just until they get bigger okay guys just want to show you I did drill a hole in the bin that way, uh, if it does rain, 
the water can exit the bin without completely flooding the plants. Um, you know, and then what I'll do is I'll just have to come out here and check and, you know, if I had to pour salt water in and try to flush out the rainwater I can or whatever, um, depending on the rain. And uh, I could also cover them up, but they're outside. They're not in a greenhouse or anything, so. But yeah, there it is.